The 7 Most Relatable Cast Members on 90 Day Fiancé Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Number 7. Kalani Kalani's rough relationship with her in-laws is a recognizable one to many viewers. Anyone who has a fractured relationship with their in-laws can relate to Kalani and her difficult, distant relationship with her sister-in-law and mother-in-law. First introduced to viewers in Season 6 of 90 Day Fiancé, Kalani and her Samoan husband, Asuelu, also have cultural barriers with one another, much like many couples who grow up in diverging backgrounds. Although Kalani is half Samoan, she has been raised in America her whole life. Therefore, she has more of an American mindset, especially pertaining to gender roles in the home. On the other hand, Asuelu grew up in a patriarchal Samoan culture, which has colored his perception of women's role in the home. Number 6. Armando Armando's difficulty in letting his family know things about his relationship with partner Kenny, like their engagement, is very relatable for those who have issues coming out to their families. Armando's journey is coming out as gay to his loving but conservative family was a major talking point of 90 Day Fiancé. The Other Way Season 3, this is something that many in the LGBTQ plus community can empathize with as many undergo their own journeys in revealing their sexual orientation. Number 5. Curly Yam Often revealing bouts of homesickness, Curly Yam's missing of her Brazilian family and country was incredibly relatable for anyone who has ever dealt with being away from home. Seeing her sadness and the thought of her family being so far away showed viewers just how challenging it is for individuals to leave their family, friends, culture, and even their language when immigrating to the United States. Curly Ann was also relatable in how down-to-earth she was about her many joys and worries. Never one to be snooty or high-maintenance, Curly Ann was very easy for viewers to understand and relate to, making Curly Ann and her husband Alan a fan-favorite couple of 90 Day Fiancé. Number 4. Singin Pretty much everyone at one point or another has used humor as a way of diffusing a frustrating argument. Those who rely on humor to handle difficult situations related to Singin, who often dealt with his relationship issues with Tanya through humor. A favorite moment of Singin's humor occurred during a fight when Tanya bemoaned what she perceived to be Singin's lack of ambition. When Tanya said that Singin needed to level up, Singin's response of this isn't Super Mario Brothers was perfect tension diffuser to their repetitive argument. Singin's laid-back attitude and kind-hearted personality endeared viewers to the relatable South African. Number 3. Molly Hopkins Molly first became part of the 90 Day Fiancé family in Season 5 as the partner to Louis. While this 90 Day Fiancé marriage was doomed from the start and did not last for a number of reasons, Molly resonated with many fans of the reality TV series. Her desire for her children to get along with her new husband is an obstacle that many people go through. Also, Molly's adorable friendship with Bestie Cynthia was a relationship that a lot of viewers related to. Molly's exhaustion and frustration at a romance gone wrong was also relatable for those who have found themselves in a similarly draining situation. Number 2. Pedro Like so many married people, Pedro has the tough but relatable task of balancing his wife, his in-laws, and his own family, all of which present their unique challenges. Pedro's and Chantel's families did not get along, putting Pedro in the middle of two warring groups. Pedro also has an obligation to his family, always supporting them when they need anything. Pedro's dedication and loyalty to his family are something many viewers can understand as Pedro has become more financially stable throughout his run on 90 Day Fiancé and the meme-generating spin-off The Family Chantel. He tries his best to help his family back in the Dominican Republic, and this is something most tight-knit families go through themselves. And at number 1, Tiffany. Tiffany is a beloved cast member of 90 Day Fiancé who first came of notice in 90 Day Fiancé The Other Way. Tiffany in many ways takes care of her kids on her own because her husband Ronald lives in South Africa. Tiffany's juggling of work and kids is something any single mom can relate to. Also, Tiffany is super approachable and she comes across as caring and loyal. But like anyone, Tiffany has her limits. She can be sweet and amiable, but she does not tolerate any sort of disrespect. When anyone steps out of line with her, she instantly puts them back in their place. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you on the next video.